There's so many things that are going on, and tonight we have a preview of the Bolt White and Blue. I should say, but today we're having a preview of tonight's mm -hmm. Bolt White and Blue Stadium yes. Party. Yeah, so we're told this will be a family fun event with live music, a fireworks show, the size of the 4th of July, and plus more. Don't just take our word for it, though. We're going to hear now from Morgan Clausel <laughs> and Bolt behind yeah, him. Yeah, he is. is. You know Bolt, but Did Morgan. you know he was behind you, or did he just sneak up? He's right. here. He, I'm like, you can stand a little closer to me. <laughs> well, Morgan, uh, you again know who Bolt is, but Morgan's the Vice President of Marketing and Partnership mm -hmm. Services for the Winston-Salem Dash, so perfect person to be talking to this morning to talk about that bolt white and blue party. Mm -hmm. So Morgan, tell us what's in store for that. Yeah, good morning. Obviously, like you guys said, I'm here with Bolt. We are getting ready for tonight. Starts at six o'clock tonight. Um, we're gonna have live music from Soul Jam, Megan Doss, John Montgomery. We're gonna have a cornhole tournament um, with cash prizes. We're gonna have face painting, balloon artists, you name it. Um, just a place to come have some fun tonight. That looks like so much fun overall looking like a great event and a little bit of a preview mm -hmm. as we're headed into the day tomorrow. A little bit. Yeah. So we're going to have some fun drinks tonight um, and then we will have some cool food. Our concessions are going to be open. Then the Dash are home tomorrow, July 4th, obviously to play some baseball. It's going to be the largest fireworks show in town. And then we're also having a fireworks show tonight for our Bolt White and Blue as well. This is fantastic because there are a lot of people who may not be able to make it out tomorrow. Maybe they have to get up early for work yeah. on July 5th. If you're smart, you call out on July 5th, mm -hmm. by the way. That's a pro tip oh. here. <laughs> but, of course, those Independence Day celebrations. Are we a preview from yeah. you? <laughs> a preview from me. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but we know that those Independence Day celebrations will be going on, of course, throughout the week there at Truist. And you guys have so much going on at the ballpark. People who maybe have been in the past, need to still come back out and see what's going on because they may not realize how things have even changed over the last few years. Yeah, absolutely. You made a good point. So we were we talked about doing this first ever Bolt White and Blue because some people do go to work on the 5th. So we were like, let's do something on the 3rd for those families that may not have, that do have work on the 5th and let's have them here on the 3rd. And then if they may not be able to come to the 4th, then they have something to do on the third. But yeah, so we have a lot of newness here. We have 14 new food items um, this week. We have a lot of things planned as well. July 5th, we have archaeology night and we actually have um, the Anheuser-Busch Clydesdales coming on site as well from 6 to 8 p.m. on the 5th. And then on Friday, July 7th, we have our bump and run night. So we'll have a special appearance by a race car driver and then so yeah, we got a bunch of fun stuff coming up this week. That is so cool. I remember as a child too, I saw the Clydesdale horses or, and <laughs> yeah. you, you don't realize how big they are. Oh, and, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very cool for the kids, especially, but for everybody. She's saying the kids, but Jack is like <laughs> wide eyed, like very excited about it. <laughs> yeah, I have never seen them in person. So I, we're very excited that they're coming. Very cool. Well, I know the big highlight for 4th of July mm -hmm. and especially for y'all because you've been doing these fireworks shows on Saturdays and Sundays this year. So two, or, uh, Fridays and Saturdays, mm -hmm. so two nights instead of just one night this summer. Um, when you do have those home games, but what is special about the fireworks show for tonight's event? Yeah, absolutely. So it's actually going to be double the length that we're doing on Fridays and Saturdays traditionally. So it's going to be a 14 minute long fireworks show for our fans. Oh, wow. 14 minutes. My goodness. 14. <laughs> yeah. So tonight for Bolt White and Blue, we're going to have the same fireworks show that we're having for July 4th as well. So it's going to be 14 minutes tonight. So we'll end the night at about 9.45, we'll end the night with our fireworks show. And then same thing tomorrow after after the baseball game, we're going to have a fireworks show as well. That's exciting. And will folks have a chance to even meet Bolt? Because obviously we get the pleasure of being able to talk to him. Yes. Or at least see him this morning. Hey, I know he, he's not as vocal, but will folks have a chance to even get and in, in interact with Bolt, maybe get some pictures for the kids? Absolutely, always. Bolt is always walking around, meeting people, taking photos. So anytime you see him, feel free to stop him and grab a photo. You would hope so. It's called Bolt White, White and Blue. Blue. Oh, so, I mean, the Bolt, you know, starts with B, but he's right. representing the red. So you right. would hope he's, that he'd be exactly. out and about.
Exactly. <laughs> what a patriotic mascot. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Morgan. We appreciate all the information and Bolt as well. You're welcome back at any time. <laughs> of course, you can join the Dash tonight for this family fun event that's happening from 6 till 10 p.m. This family fun event will have live music, cornhole tournament, as well as a free kids zone. The stadium party will end with a fireworks show, as Morgan just says. This is the same thing that's happening tomorrow at the post 4th of July game as well.